This is a 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube called a Pocket Cube. The best in the world can solve this in less than 1 second. Today I want to learn to solve a 2x2 two two in less than 5 seconds, which should be doable by an average cuber like myself. But let's first learn how to just solve it. So I have known how to do this before, but I don't think I remember. Maybe I remember. Should I see if I can remember? Okay, we got this. That's one side. Now how the freaky dicky. This is where I need a tutorial. Give me a second. What? Has someone turned my cube? <laughs> but now we just have to get comfortable doing this. I definitely gotta improve my finger tricks with this. Oi! I got it! Yes! Ah. What I'm using here is called the beginner's method. It is about repeating the same simple moves until the cube is solved. Yes! Consistent, but not very fast. We have a lot of work to do. So I kept working. This piece is twisted again. Oh! <laughs> It took like 30 seconds here. <laughs> 14 seconds! <laughs> because I just skipped like the entire last step. But now I think I'm ready to go for the advanced method. Alright, so the first step is to find which side. If you have two. Now, oh. side. This is just a lot of intense rememorization. This is what I've made like to memorize all of these algorithms. There's only 12 that I have to remember, but I can already like remember some of them, so that's pretty good. Now we're just gonna improve the speed, improve memorization, and then just make it fluid. And then I'm sure I'll get under the five seconds. Boom. Now I know most of the algorithms, so now I just gotta get faster and make sure it's only muscle memory and not like me remembering all of the combinations. Now here are some fun facts about the 2x2 cube. This one has 3.6 million different scrambles. The 3x3, however, has 43 quintillion different scrambles, which is just an incredibly big number. You can't even imagine it. So this one is much easier than this one. And this is why you can solve this in less than five seconds. Now, how do you go fast on the 2x2? You need to use the Ortega method, where you need to memorize 12 different algorithms and then do them fast and fluidly. I messed up. That would have been sub 10 easy. Sub 12. It was at this point I knew I could solve the 2 by 2 in less than 10 seconds. Oh, sheesh. Now I just have to get one lucky solve and the sub 5 seconds would be mine. Some ate something. And unexpectedly, this happened day 11. Today I'm trying to solve this 2x2 two two in under 5 seconds. If I'm lucky, I can do it, but it's just depending on do I get a, like, a good scramble, do I smoothly transition from each algorithm, stuff like that. Wait, this one is really good for the red one. Oh, why do I mess up always? Why do I keep, what am I doing wrong? Got a very unlucky peel a little I'm really slow today. Can't even do it under like 10 seconds. Oh, this green one is nice. Oh. 
Very good. I think that was it. I timed this at 5.3. I got the biggest skip of my life. I did my own little so slow. Whoa. <laughs> this is not my average. Like five se under five seconds average would be like insane. But I got it under five with one solve. Yes. And thanks for watching.